how to add a WooCommerce cart icon to menu. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add your very own cart icon into your menu for your WordPress website. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So there are a couple of things that you need to do. First things first, you're going to need to sign up onto, you know, WordPress and log into your dashboard. And once you logged into dashboard, we are good to go. So let me just show you before. So if I come over here, I open up my website in a new tab. As you can see, there are no card icon over here. It's just home about services projects contact and take an action button that's basically it there is no cart icon and by the end of this video there will be a cart icon over here as well so let's just jump into the video so we're going to go back to our dashboard over here and once we're over here what we're going to do is we're going to go into the plugin section over here so we we'll click on plugins it's going to load up this plugin area and what we're going to do is we're going to click on add a new plugin so this will allow us to come over here into the plugin store and add a new plugin so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a new plugin and remember guys this method does not require any coding or whatsoever so it's very very easy so we're just going to search for woocommerce cart over here uh as you can see we have woocommerce cart stock reducer we have boosters we have uh, you know woocommerce cart abandonment recovery and if we just simply search for cart then we have this one over here woocommerce menu cart and this plugin is going to allow us to add a cart into our menu section so what we're going to do is we're just simply going to click on install now it's going to install the application once it's installed just simply click on activate and then the plugin will be activated and we are good to go so as you can see it says the plugin has been activated over here so we have our woocommerce menu cart over here and on the left side we should have that option as well so over here underneath woocommerce as you can see we have menu cart set up so what we're going to do is we're going to click on menu cart and over here select which e-commerce plugin you would like menu cart to work with so we have a bunch of different ones so we have woocommerce as well select the menu in which you want to be displayed so we want the menu to be displayed in the header section as well and we want always display cart even if it's empty yes we have show on cart and checkout page yeah i want that as well display shopping cart icon that's already displayed and then we have you know display cart content in menu flyout so we'll just not check that then we have choose the cart icon so we have a bunch of different icons that we can choose from so we have this one this one this one this one and many many more uh i personally like this one so i'm gonna choose this one but actually for the additional icons are only available for the pro version so we can't choose any of these so we'll just go with the standard one if you want some more options then you will have to go with the pro version and then we have what would you like to display on the menu so items only price only both price and you know items we'll go with that select an alignment that looks best with your menu we'll just go with right one all right and price to display we have card total subtotal of product checkout total including discount fees and shipping so we'll just go with car total and once that's done we can click on save changes and we even have a custom css class option so if you want to add like a code or something to maybe add like something that's uh customizable then you can go ahead and add that over here but this feature is also available in the pro version not in the standard version once everything is done just simply click on save changes now that we have saved the changes now if we come over here back to our website we'll just simply click on the reload button to reload the website and i don't see it which is weird okay so i forgot i didn't set up my woocommerce website so i'm just setting it up right now it's going to take me a couple of minutes and once it's set up i can show you so right now i'm just adding a bunch of different features into my site they're all free once that's done we can move over to the theme section the final part and then we can actually show you how it looks like so once this is done i will show you so i'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here and i will see you guys in a second as you can see we have all the themes over here and then we have a bunch of different other ones so these are some like free themes and then we have paid themes so i'm going to choose a free theme and then i will choose continue with my activate theme and then i will just simply approve my account okay i'm sorry about that i've done with the process and i made a mistake uh we should select the menu over here not the header not the footer 
listing or anything we just select the menu and then it should be displayed we'll just click on save changes click on save changes and once that's done we come over here into our website and as you can see we have our cart icon over here now if i refresh the page it doesn't matter it doesn't go away and as you can see we have that, that option over here if i click on it it's just simply going to take me over to another part of the website which i haven't finished you know leaving which is like the product over here so as you can see these are some of the products and over here people can go ahead and start shopping so just click on the product and it'll show you about it and whatever it is so you can go ahead and add that over here and right next to it as you can see you have your uh, price as well so all the total that you will get when you add different products into your shopping cart the total price will be shown over here as well so you won't have to click on it and then see the total price it's just right next to the card icon so as you can see it's really simple it's really easy to simply install this plugin for woocommerce cart and then you can go ahead and add that and it's really really good you can use other plugins as well so if i come over here into the plugin section and click on add new come here into the plugin store we just simply search for cart and as you can see we have a bunch of different options as well so we have a cart all in one for woocommerce we have paypal card we have payment plugins for stripe we have card bounty which is able to you know save and recover abandoned cards for woocommerce so as you can see we have a lot of different options and the process is very very similar just simply click on install now wait a couple of seconds for it to be installed and once it's installed just simply click on activate and boom it's going to be activated and you can go ahead and start using it so over here we have jet pay so what type of site is your site so this is the name of my site this is my personal site it's not a store or business or anything like that we'll just simply click on continue and once that's done we'll just simply click on continue to you know jetpack we'll click on enable downtime monitoring if you want to basically notifies you if your site goes offline we don't want that right now we'll just click on not right now then would you like to be related post to display at the bottom of your content sure we'll enable it and we'll just simply install creative mail which will turn the site visitor into subscribers and then they'll get emails on the go so you don't miss it so we'll just click on install and enable accelerator and boom we are good to go so now we'll just click on enable boom there we go now that that's done as you can see over here on the left side we have jetpack over here this is the dashboard and we are good to go so let me just go back to the plugins area over here and we have the card bounty we'll just simply click on settings and boom over here we have a bunch of different settings for card bounties and over here we will have abandoned cards as well then we'll have recovery over here then we'll have tools as well so this is basically a abandoned card recovery tool so it's really amazing and underneath WooCommerce, we also have the same option as well. So you don't have to worry about that. So as I said before, it's a pretty easy. It's not something, you know, complicated. You don't have to have a lot of coding or stuff like that. Just simply come over into the plugin store and download the plugin and boom, you're good to go. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. And having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.